Hello everyone. Welcome to the KCT NEET JWE classes. In today's lecture, I am going to solve some applied multiple choice questions from the chapter some basic concepts of chemistry. So let's see the questions one by one. The first one, a sample of aluminum fluoride contains 3 into 10 raised to 4 fluoride minus ions. The number of formula unit of this sample are Len Kotari ALF3 sample to Gundara and it consists of 3.0 into 10 raised to 24 fluoride ions. Thus the number of formula unit of this sample is yes to formula unit new find out so as from the formula we can say that the number of fluoride ions or fluorine is 3 for 1 alf3 one the aluminum fluoride to wonder otherwise yes to fluorine recovery 3 fluorine atoms and if we consider 3 of minus ions okay then it represent one formula unit of alf3 3 fluoride minus ion and thelidra they will make one formula unit of alf3 and thelidra yakandra 1 f3 of 1 alf3 na formation madta so 3 of minus and thelidra thagondve and thelidra one formula unit of alf3 and thelidra if 3 into 10 raised to 24 fluoride ions is the yes number of formula unit is the find out. So, 3 into 10 raised to 24 fluoride ions will consist, consist of how many ALF3 units that you need to calculate. So, what we can do here? Simply, it can be calculated as 1 by 3 into 3 into 10 raised to 24 ALF3 units. It consists of 1 by 3 into 3 into 10 raised to 24. Because here if nothing is there, then we have to consider 1. Okay. So 1 divided by 3 into 3 into 10 raised to 24. If we cross multiply this, we will get this answer. Okay and 3 3 will get cancelled out so what will remain 1 into 10 raised to 24 alf3 units so the number of formula unit of the given sample is 1 into 10 raised to 4 alf3 units so option d is the right answer the next question if potassium chlorate is 80 percent pure then 48 gram of oxygen would be produced from given that atomic mass of potassium is 39. So potassium chlorate to 80 percent pure other. Then 48 gram of oxygen would be produced from yes gram KClO3 potassium chlorate to now 48 gram of oxygen produce maad bhoodu. okay so how much amount of potassium chlorate is required to produce 48 gram of oxygen that you have to calculate so here the potassium chlorate it will decomposes to give oxygen and that can be represented as 2 kcl plus 3 o2 upon heating the potassium chlorate it will decomposes to give kcl 2 moles of kcl and 3 moles of oxygen and here we have taken 2 moles of potassium chlorate now the atomic mass or molecular mass of potassium chlorate is 122.5 grams so here 2 moles we have taken therefore 2 into 122.5 will give us 245 grams. 
so when 245 grams of potassium chlorate is decomposed it will produces 3 moles of oxygen that is 3 into oxygen atomic mass is 32 gram so we will get 96 grams when we heat 245 gram potassium chlorate it will give 96 grams but how much oxygen we require we require 48 gram okay and here 48 gram of oxygen will be produced from 122.5 grams yakan thelidra 2 moles thagondaga 96 grams birth idr the half 245 divided by 2 madidvi ant thelidra 122.5 sigutta divided by 2 madidra 48 grams sigutta so 48 gram potassium oxygen sigbekadra 122.5 gram potassium chloride thagobeku but here the potassium chloride is not 100% pure it is 80% pure howda il 100% pure iddaga ishtu produce agutte but 80% pure potassium chloride thagondra avaga est amount of potassium chloride bekagutta adanna neevu calculate madbeku so here since 122.5 gram of potassium chlorate produces 48 gram therefore the amount of oxygen produced from 80% of potassium chlorate is it can be calculated as 100 divided by 80 because 80% is pure into 122.5 so it will give 153.12 gram so therefore 153.12 gram of 80 percent pure potassium chlorate is required to produce 48 gram of oxygen therefore the option a is the right answer next question what mass of calcium chloride in grams would be enough to produce 14.35 gram of AgCl. Yest mass calcium chloride number 14.35 gram AgCl produce maadvekandra beka gatta adanna calculate maadveku. So here the reaction of calcium chloride to give AgCl silver chloride can be given as CaCl2 plus AgNO3 2 moles of AgNO3 that is silver nitrate when both will react with each other they will form silver chloride 2 moles of silver chloride along with calcium nitrate so this is the reaction which takes place and now here calcium chloride its molecular mass is 111 gram and AgCl its molecular mass is 143.5 how many moles are there 2 moles are there therefore the 14.35 gram of AgCl will be produced from 111 gram into 14.35 we require divided by 143.5 into 2 that will give 5.55 grams so 5.55 grams of calcium chloride is required to produce 14.35 gram of AgCl so option A is the right answer the next question two oxides of a metal contain 50% and 40% metal respectively if the formula of the first oxide is mo2 the formula of second oxide will be add oxides of metal adha one 50% metal adha inondrolage 40% metal adha ig 50% metal iddalle the formula is metal oxide is MO2. 
and the formula of second will be under 40 percent metal it the formula a nagiratta and these are the given options mo2 mo3 m2o m2o5 now let us consider the atomic weight of metal atomic weight of metal would be m atomic weight in and then through curry m than through curry so then in first case metal is 50 percent if metal is 50 percent the amount of oxygen will also be 50 percent other metal 50 percent it to one oxygen is to three remaining 50 percent now from the given formula that is mo2 we can say that the 50 divided by m is 1 that is when we divide 50 to the molar mass of the metal then we will get the for unit as 1 and for oxygen if we divide 15 divided by 16 that means oxygen atomic mass is 16 so 50 divided by 16 the ratio will gives 2 so now the formula is mo2 Okay, this is taken from the molecular formula that they have given. Metal the est birth 3, 1 earth. Oxygen the est birth 2 earth. Now we can say that 16 divided by m okay, is equal to 1 divided by 2. Here we will divide these two things. What we will get? 50 by m, 50 by 16. So 16 will goes to the numerator. So 50, 50 get cancelled out. Okay. Therefore we get 16 by m is equal to 1 by 2. And if we cross multiply this, m into 1 is m is equal to 16 into 2. So therefore m is equal to 32. So 32 grams, it is the grams per mole, is the molar mass of the metal. 32 gram mole is the other the metal at the mass or atomic weight. Now we have to consider the second oxide because already they have given the formula of first oxide. Now we have to find the formula of second oxide. So in second case, the percentage of metal is 40%. If metal is 40%, the oxygen is present around about 60%. Then again, if we take the ratio 40 divided by M, M and the metal. So, this metal is the number of the molecular mass. So, we have 32 because already we have determined that. So, 40 divided by 32 will give us 1.25. And similarly for oxygen, what we will take 60 divided by 16 will gives 3.75 so if we take the simple ratio 1.25 ones are 1.25 3s are so 1 3 1 ratio 3 will be obtained so therefore the formula of the compound will be mo3 m on the metal it on the other other oxygen it more oxygen it so i'm going formula in very tv mo3 and very tv so the formula of the second oxide will be MO3. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question, a chloride of a metal M contains 65.5% of chlorine. 100 ml of vapor of the chloride of metal at STP weights 0.72 gram. The molecular formula of the metal chloride is so, in a chloride of metal contains 65.5% chlorine. When the metal chloride will 65.5% chlorine. And 100 ml of vapor of the chloride of metal at STP weights 0.72 gram. 100 ml a metal chloride of the vapor is 0.72 gram at STP. So the molecular formula of the metal chloride is 
आ मेटल क्लोराइड द मॉलिक्यूलर फॉर्मूला एस टू हियर वी कैन कैलकुलेट इट्स मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ मेटल क्लोराइड एस 0.72 grams into 22,400 divided by 100. Here 0.72 gram, it is the mass of that metal vapor, and volume is 100 ml. And we know that if we take one mole of the vapor at STP, it will occupy 22,400 ml. Of volume, that is according to Avogadro's law. So therefore, on simplification, we will get 161.28 gram. Now weight of chlorine. इग नमक ये निकल तो molecular weight of metal chloride. इग नाव ये मरुनु chlorine इधर weight find out मरुन. So that we can get the formula of the metal chloride. So weight of chlorine in metal chloride chlorine in metal chloride is equal to 65.5 into 161.28 divided by 100 so that will gives 105.64 gram and number of mole of atoms Of chlorine is equal to 105.64 gram divided by 35.5 because it is the given mass 105.64 and 35.5 is atomic mass of chlorine. Therefore, it gives three. And hence, if one metal is there, three moles of chlorine will be present. Therefore. The formula of the metal chloride is MCl3. Option B is the right answer. Next question: Gastric juice contains three gram of HCl per liter. If a person produces two point five liter of gastric juice per day, how many antacid tablets, each containing four hundred mg of aluminium hydroxide, are needed to neutralize? All the HCl produced in one day. If the gastric juice, which is produced in stomach, it will contains three gram of HCl. A gastric juice more gram HCl than the other three per liter. One liter gastric juice to one liter third liter more gram HCl is given. And if a person produces two point five liter of gastric juice per day, or a person. गैस्ट्रिक जूस एस्ट प्रोड्यूस दिन टू पॉइंट फाइव लीटर हौ मेनी एंटासीड टाबेट कंटेनिंग फोर हंड्रेड एम जी आफ अलूम हईड्रॉक्साइड आर् नीडेड टू न्यूट्रल आल दि एचल प्रोड्यूस्ड इन वन डे आसिड प्रोड्यूस आगे न्यूट्रल संबंध एंटासीड तक टाबेट अंड आंटासीडी फोर हंड्रेड मिग्राम अलूम हईड्रॉक्साइड सो यु टाबलेट तक मीन टू न्यूट्रल आल दि एचल विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन वन डे वसीड प्रोड्यूस अदान न्यूट्रल टाबलेट तक सो हियर फस्ट डिटर्म दि ग्राम इक्विवेलेंट वेट आफ एचल दट ईज क्यालक्युलेटेड एस थ्री डिवैडेड बै Thirty six point five into two point five. So three grams are three. One liter only. How da? Just a liter produce matter. Two point five liter produce matter. And the molecular mass of HCl is thirty six point five. So three divided by thirty six point five into two point five will gives zero point two zero five grams. This is the gram equivalent weight of HCl, and this is also equal to gram equivalent weight of AlOH thrice, because to neutralize 0.205 gram of HCl, 
we require 0 0.205 gram of aluminium hydroxide. If you to produce it, then we have to use the acid and use the antacid. Okay? So, weight of aluminium hydroxide for 0 0.205 gram equivalent will be 0 0.205 this is moles mass of aluminum hydroxide. This is the weight to find out. So, it is given as 0 0.205 into 78 divided by 3. That is equal to 5.342 gram. That is the mg convert. 5342 mg. Because tablets the weight is 400 mg. So now we have a gram of mg. Convert okay, by multiplying it with 1000. Then the number of tablets. This is the aluminum hydroxide. 5342 milligrams. So number of tablets which are required to neutralize. HCl produced in one day will be 5342 milligram divided by 400 milligram will give 13.4 that is nearly equal to 14. So 14 tablets are required to neutralize all the HCl produced in one day. Therefore option B 14 is the correct answer. Next one, sulfuryl chloride reacts with water to give a mixture of H2SO4 and HCl. How many moles of barium hydroxide would be required to neutralize the solution formed by adding 4 ml of SO2CO2 to excess of water? So, sulfuryl chloride water jodi react aadaga h2so4 matte hcl mixture kodutta ig idanna neutralize maadbeku ant helidra est amount of athwa est moles of barium hydroxide bekagutta annodanna find out maadbeku okay so here 4 ml of sulfuryl chloride is added how much barium hydroxide is required to neutralize the solution that you need to calculate so let's see here Sulfuryl chloride when reacts with water it will form 1 mole of H2SO4 and 2 moles of HCl. And we have to neutralize H2SO4 and HCl. H2SO4 and HCl neutralize. So first neutralize the H2SO4. So to neutralize H2SO4 1 mole of barium hydroxide is added. Then it will form barium sulphate along with water. When the mole barium hydroxide H2SO4 should react adaga, barium sulphate matto water formation agat. So neutralize atu H2SO4. Next yaw the 2HCl. To neutralize 2 HCl, 2 moles of HCl, again 1 mole of barium hydroxide is added. So that it will form BaCl2 and water. So therefore, from this you can say that to neutralize H2SO4, one mole barium hydroxide is required. And to neutralize HCl, again one mole barium hydroxide is required. So total number of moles of barium hydroxide required to neutralize HCl and H2SO4 will be 2. So here one mole, one mole, one plus one, two. Two moles is required. Therefore, the option B is the right answer. Next question. One mole of mixture of CO and CO2 requires exactly 28 gram of KOH in solution for complete conversion of all the CO2 into K2CO3. How much amount more of KOH will be required for conversion into K2CO3? If one mole of mixture is completely oxidized to CO2, if one mole mixture of CO and CO2, 28 gram KOH require. 
to completely convert CO2 into K2CO. So how much amount of KOH will be required for conversion into K2CO3 if one mole of mixture is completely oxidized to CO2? One mole oxidized to CO2. Yes, to KOH is going to be able to find that. So here, see, when carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen, okay, half moles of oxygen, it will form CO2. Carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen to form CO2. Half moles of oxygen, it will form CO2. Carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen to form CO2. And that CO2 will react with KOH to form 28, okay. So that is the given mass divided by 56. So it will give 0.50 moles. So CO2 either jodi react agar 3, KOH jodi react agar 3. Avaga, yes to moles of produce agar 0 0.50. So it corresponds to 0 0.25 mole of CO2. Ego, 1 mole CO2, 2 KOH jodi, 2 moles KOH jodi react adaga, 0 0.50 moles produce agatha. So, ego, bare 1 mole KOH jodi react at andra, yes tagatri, other half, 0 0.50 divided by 2 and madidra, 0.25 mole. So, hence, the number of moles of CO is equal to 1 minus 0.25 will give 0.75 moles. This much CO2 will be formed. Is to moles of CO2 in agatha formation agatha. Okay, 0.75 moles. And number of moles of KOH required will be how much? It is 2 into 2 moles of KOH into 0.75 is equal to how much? 1.5. So 1.5 and therefore 1.5 moles into molecular mass is 56 is equal to 84 gram. Therefore 84 gram is required to completely convert KOH into K2CO3. Therefore option B is the right answer. Next one, 10 gram of CaCO3 were dissolved in 250 ml of HCl or the solution was boiled. What volume of 2 m KOH would be required to equivalence point after boiling? Assume no change in volume during boiling. So 10 gram CaCO3 dissolved mudder. Yes, ml daga 250 ml of HCl or it is boiled. Then what volume of 2 m KOH required to equivalence point after boiling? Yes, volume KOH beka gatta to require equivalence point. So here we will take the molecular or m equivalence of CaCO3 is equal to 10 divided by 50 into 1000 that will give us 200 and m equivalent weight of HCl is equal to 250 into 1 is equal to 250. Therefore, the m equivalent weight of HCl which is left in the solution is equal to 250 minus 200 is equal to 50. Therefore, the M equivalence point of KOH required will be V into 2 is equal to 50. That will give us 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. So, V is equal to 25 ml. So, this much volume is required. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next one, 2.24 ml of a gas X is produced at STP by the action of 4.6 milligram of alcohol with methyl magnesium iodide. 
the molecular mass of alcohol and the gas x are respectively 2.24 ml of gas ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಿಥೈಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಅಯೋಡೈಡ್ ದಿ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ರ್ ಎಚ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ವೆನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಐ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಥೈಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಅಯೋಡೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿಥೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಒ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಐ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋಲ್ ಆರ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆದಾಗ ಒನ್ ಮೋಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿಥೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪಿದಾಗ ಎಷ್ಟು ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅಕುಪಾಯ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ is equal to into 22400 is equal to 46 g molecular weight of roh est agutri 0.0046 divided by 2.224 into 22400 because here volume is taken in ml ml olage en thonarri volume thonda okay so hence the weight is also taken in milligrams and hence it will give 46 gram therefore option c is the right answer the molecular mass of alcohol will be 46 and the gas is ch4 so option c is the right answer if 3.01 into 10 raise to 20 molecules are removed from 98 mg of h2so4 then the number of moles of h2so4 left are 3 into 10 raise to 20 molecules na remove madidvi eshtu h2so4 dinda 98 mg h2so4 dinda so avag eshtu number of moles of h2so4 uldu annaduna find out madbeku so here first find the number of moles in 98 mg of h2so4 98 mg h2so4 thagondra ಎಷ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡು ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಮಿಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ನೈನ್ ಏಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗ್ಯೂಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಝೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ರೀ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಝೀರೋ ಒನ್ so moles of h2so4 which are removed okay h2so4 which removed is equal to 3.01 into 10 raise to 20 molecules divided by 1 mole and theater 6.02 into 10 raise to 23 yes remove a 3 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 3 moles gets removed so therefore number of moles of h2so4 left yest h2so4 left adu ant helidra uldu ant helidra 0.001 minus 0.0005 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 3 ant helidra 0.0005 that will gives 0.5 into 10 raise to minus 3 only ishta eno bartre answer barat so therefore the correct option is option b next one one mole of n2 and four mole of h2 are allowed to react in a sealed container and after the reaction some water is introduced in it the aqueous solution formed required 1 liter of 1 mhcl for neutralization 
the mole fraction of the gaseous product in the mixture after the reaction was illi en find out madbeku ri mole fraction anna find out madbeku illi 1 mole n2 4 mole h2 react aagta ondak ondu avaga aa ond aqueous solution en form agiruttala adu 1 liter of 1 mhcl thagolutte neutralization aaglike so new en find out madbeku mole fraction of the gaseous product in the mixture after the reaction so first how the reaction takes place we will see nitrogen when reacts with hydrogen okay so then it will gives first nitrogen will react with 3 moles of hydrogen to form 2 moles of ammonia nh3 and this nh3 will further react with hcl for neutralization to form nh4cl it neutralize agat therefore the number of moles of nh3 formed will be est form agirutri it is equal to 1 liter of 1 mhcl is equal to 1 mole and therefore number of moles of n2 left est moles of nitrogen ulitavri that is equal to 1 minus moles of n2 react ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಷ್ಟು ಉಳಿತದ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ರೀ ಹಾಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಫೈನ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಮೈನಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಟು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೇರ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ದಿ ಮೋಲ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಚ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು number of moles of ns3 to the total number of moles of all the component and that okay so therefore it will gives 1 divided by 1 plus 0.5 plus 0. Point, sorry 2.5 is equal to 0.25 so 0.25 is the mole fraction of the gaseous product in the mixture after the reaction therefore option d is the right answer the next question which of the following option represents correct limiting reagents in reactions 1 2 and 3 respectively idu three reactions olaga limiting reagents agi yav act aagta annodanna find out madbeku so first one nodri in case of first reaction carbon is reacted with oxygen to form carbon dioxide so first find the number of moles of carbon est gram kotari 26 gram atomic mass is to 12 so est agutri 2.16 moles oxygen est kotara number of moles of oxygen will be 20 gram divided by molar mass is 32 it is equal to 0.625 so here yaad kadimi number moles adari oxygen therefore oxygen will act as limiting reagent limiting reagent agi act agutta okay next second reaction olaga yaad agutta ri in second reaction n2 again same find the number of moles of n2 that is equal to 60 g is the given mass and molecular mass is 28 so it will be 2.14 g okay and number of moles of hydrogen will be est aga 3 80 g kottara okay est moles adav 3h2 3h2 ant helidra est aga 3 it will be 2 so therefore molecular mass of h2 is 2 so hence it is 40 and according to here this reaction hydrogen 
it is not only one mole it is three moles three moles are there. so if i consider one mole of n2 it requires three moles of h2 and similarly 2.14 mole of n2 will require 6.42 mole of h2 so therefore here which one is present in lesser amount nitrogen therefore it will act as the limiting reagent so here n2 will act as limiting reagent and in first case oxygen will act as limiting reagent okay then third reaction find the number of moles of p4 again here how much gram is given 100 gram divided by molar mass is 4 moles so here four p molecules are there so 4 into phosphorus the molecular mass is 31 it will gives 0.86 this much moles is there and oxygen number of moles is that 200 g divided by oxygen is 32 so it will gives 6.25 moles so here according to this reaction one mole of p4 requires 3 mole of oxygen and similarly 0.86 mole of p4 requires 2.58 moles of oxygen so here p4 is present in lesser quantity and hence p4 will act as limiting reagent so o2 n2 and p4 will act as limiting reagent therefore option d is the right answer next question the number of molecules in 8.96 liter of a gas at 0 degree celsius and one atmospheric pressure is approximately 8.9 liter of gas olage est number of molecules irtav en kotari condition temperature 0 degree celsius pressure one atmospheric pressure so at stp we know that 22.4 liter of gas contains how many number of molecules 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules and therefore 8.96 liters of gas will consist of how many molecules that you need to find so what you will do simply cross multiply this let us consider this one as x so x is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 8.96 divided by 22.4 liter so it will gives 24.08 into 10 raised to 22 molecules so 8.96 liter of the gas will have 24.08 into 10 raised to 22 molecules because 0 degree celsius and one atmospheric pressure is nothing but stp standard temperature and pressure anta hatu so option d is the right answer next question arrange the numbers in increasing number of significant figures you know the rules to determine the number of significant figures so if we consider the 0.002600 here the number of significant figures will be here after decimal digit two zeros are there then non zero digits are there so these four are considered as significant figures the preceding zeros and after the non zero digit these zeros are considered as insignificant so the number of significant figures will be 4 here then the second one is 2.6000 so it has all these are significant only and hence 
the number of significant figures is 5 and in case of 2.6 both are non zero digits so number of significant figures is 2 and another one is 0 0.260 so again this zero is non significant the 0 0.260 after decimal point these are considered as significant so the number of significant figures will be 3 so you have to arrange these in the increasing number of significant figures so first which one is having lesser value 2.6 because it is only having two significant figures then 0 0.260 because it has three significant figures it is less than 0 0.002600 because it has four significant figures and it is less than 2.6000 because it has five significant figures so which option is right here option a is the correct answer next one 25.4 gram of i2 and 14.2 gram of cl2 are made to react completely to yield a mixture of icl and icl3 Calculate moles of ICL and ICL3 for here the reaction can be given as I2 plus 2 Cl2 will use ICL plus ICL3. Okay, so here if we take I2, it is 25.4 divided by 254. Okay, so this is the given mass okay 25.4 and this is the molar mass that is 254 and similarly if we take cl2 14.2 gram is given and molar mass of the cl2 is 71 cl2 adala 71 if it is cl then it is 35.5 and it will gives zero moles of icl and zero moles of icl3 at the beginning reaction agukina munche icl matta icl3 form agirudilla so zero irutte and after that it will gives how much it will gives 0.1 and it will gives 0.2 yadu divide madidre rest sigutte and after the reaction you yadu enu agibittirtho complete agi convert agibittirtho so number of moles will be zero and here the number of moles of ICL and ICL3 formed will be 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. So it is formed after the reaction. Therefore 0 0.1 moles of ICL and 0 0.1 mole of ICL3 is formed. Therefore option A is the right answer. Next question. On dividing 0 0.25 by 22.1176. The actual answer is 0 0.011303. The correctly reported answer will be. So, you will learn 0 0.25 na 22.1176 le divide mandi da. Avaga, ni magen the answer sigatte 0 0.011303. It is your answer. So, least precise. Illa find out mandi bhakna. Means correctly reported answer will be on the least precise on find out Madhavaku. And the least precise term has two significant figures. Ille least precise term has two significant figures on the three, two significant figures on the other Andra, idu before non zero term, okay, these will act as, these zeros will act as insignificant. So we have to consider two significant figures after these zeros. So thus the correctly reported answer will be 0 0.011. So therefore the option A is the correct answer. Next question. In which of the following number all zeros are significant? Is to figure solaga yalla zeros significant irudu yadu. So if we consider here 0 0.00005, this 0 is insignificant. 
ಈ ಮೂರು ಜೀರೋಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವು ಬಟ್ ಈ ಜೀರೋ ಇನ್ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅದ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಯಾರ ಆಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಯಾರ ಅಗೇನ್ ಬಿ ತಗೋರಿ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಫೈವ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜೀರೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ 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 ಇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಫೌನ್ ಟು ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನೀವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡನ್ನು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಅದಾವು ತೊಗೋರಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಅದರಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅದರಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನಾವು ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ವೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ವೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ವೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ದಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗುತ್ತೋ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ವೇಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಲ್ಲೇನು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಈ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದನ್ನು ಏನಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಡುದ್ರಿ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಟೋಮಿಕ್ ವೇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಯಾವುದಾಗುತ್ತಿಲ್ಲೇ ಟೂನ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೂ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಬಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ವೈಲ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಂಪೆರಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆನ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫೋನ್ ಟು ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಅಯೋಡೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಯೋಡೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟಿ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಯೋಡೀನ್ ಅದ ಏಟಿ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಅದ ನೀವು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಗೇನ್ ಏನು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಯೋಡೀನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಾಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರ್ರಿ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ರೀ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಟಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಈಸ್ ಒಂದು ಅಯೋಡೀನ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಅಯೋಡೀ
of carbon 14 contains how much number of atoms? Adu find out maadu. So, yen maadu therile? Mass of carbon 0 0.24. One mole on therile dhe rest to e carbon 14 andro mass 14 erathre. Yes to molecules are thou 6.02 into 10 rest to 23. Yes to laga 14 grams of 0 0.24 or yes to thou 1.03 into 10 rest to 22 atoms. So therefore, the correct answer is option A. The next question, if 224 ml of a triatomic gas has a mass of 1 gram at 273 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure, then the mass of 1 atom is. If 224 ml of triatomic gas the mass 1 gram at STP, 273 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure. The mass of 1 atom is, 1 atom of the mass is yesterday. Here, they have given 224 ml has mass, how much? It will be 1 gram. Okay. Now, as we all know, 22,400 ml will have a mass of how much? 100 gram. Into 100 into 22,400 ml. Now, 100 gram. Next, this is the molecular weight of gas. 100 gram is 22,400 ml. Under 1 mole or 2. So, the molecular weight is 100 gram. So, means the molecular weight of gas is obtained and it will have 6.023 into 10 raise to 23 molecules. Now the 100 gram and the molecular weight 1 mole is the other one is the molecules 6.023 into 10 raise to 23. And thus the atom is triatomic. The atom is the other triatomic. And therefore, weight of one atom will be 100 divided by 3 into 6.023 into 10 raise to 23. 3 is the triatomic. So, 3 into 6.023 into 10 raise to 23. So, this will give us 5.5 into 10 raise to minus 23 gram. So, which option is right here? Option C is the correct answer. So, the next question, 2 gram of a mixture of CO and CO2 on reaction with excess I2O5 produced will be 2.54 gram of I2. What be the mass percent of CO2 in the original mixture? If 2 gram of CO and CO2 reaction adaga, alien produce aga 3, 2.54 gram I2 produce aga. See what is the mass percentage of CO and CO2 in that original mixture that you need to calculate. So, ille, first reaction is 5 moles of carbon monoxide will react with I2O5 to produce. 5 moles of CO2 plus I2. And here, the number of moles of I2O5 will be 25.4 divided by 2254. Okay. So, it will give us how much? 0 0.01. That is equal to 0 0.05 moles of CO. Now the, so, 0 0.01 mole in produce maadha, I2 produce agatha. CO2 est produce agatha, CO est produce agatha, 5 moles. So, 0 0.01 into 5 and there are 0 0.05 moles of CO and there are. And weight of CO is equal to 
एस्ट मोल्स प्रोड्यूस आते रहे जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इनटू ट्वेंटी एट दैट इज़ द मोलर मास सो इट इट इज़ इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम सो वेट ऑफ़ सीओ एस्ट था वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम देन वेट ऑफ़ सीओ टू एस्ट रहते रहे वन पॉइंट फोर ग्राम माइनस स्मार्ट बिटरी एस्ट वाला का टू ग्राम � अदर वाला 1.4 ग्राम सीओ है रहता, सो रिमेनिंग एनर्जी थ्री सीओ टू, सो हाउ मच इट विल गिव्स 0.6 ग्राम, सो दिस मच वेट ऑफ सीओ टू इज प्रेजेंट, देन हेंस द परसेंटेज ऑफ सीओ टू हम एक बेको, दैट इज कैलकुलेटेड एस 0.6 डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल मास इनटू 100 विल गिव्स 30 परसेंट so mass percent of carbon dioxide in the original mixture will be 30. Therefore, option C is the right answer. The next question, how many moles of lead chloride will be formed from a reaction between 6.5 gram of PBO and 3.2 gram of HCl? PBO 6.5 gram, 3.2 gram HCl लाडू react माणी दाग, lead chloride yes to moles formation आगत्त, अदु find out माड़ वोको, first write the equation, lead oxide when reacts with HCl which is 2 moles, it will form PBCl2 plus water, okay, so here molar mass of PBO will be 207 plus oxygen this to 16 pb plus o so it will give us 223 gram and hcl theory 2 into 2 moles into 36.5 is molar mass of hcl so it will give us 73 gram and here pbcl2 is formed pb the yesterday atomic mass 207 plus cl2 and the rest of 71 so it will give us 278 gram okay so here first find the number of moles number of moles of pbo that is equal to 6.5 divided by 223 that is equal to 0 0.029 okay and the number of moles of hcl will be how much? 3.2 gram divided by 36.5. That will give us 0.0877. So thus, the lead oxide is the limiting reactant. And 1 mole of PBO produce 1 mole of PBCl2. And hence, 0 0.029 moles of PBO will produces 0 0.029 moles of PBCl2. Elena got 3 PBO limiting reagent agi act agatha. And one mole est produce madatha, one mole PBCl2 produce madatha. Eeg est number of moles of PBO adhavari 0 0.029. So it will also produces 0 0.029 moles of PBCl2. So here the option D is the right answer. Next one, if 0.5 mole of BaCl2 is mixed with 0.2 mole of Na3PO4, then maximum number of moles of Ba3PO4 twice that can be formed is. If 0.5 mole BaCl2 na 0.2 mole Na3PO4 jodi react maadhi. और Ba3PO4 ट्वाइस फॉर्मेशन आ गया था। ये एस्ट नंबर ऑफ मॉल्स फॉर्म आ गया था नो दरना फाइंड आउट पार्ट बताओ। सी द रिएक्शन। व्हाट हैपेंस हियर? थ्री मॉल्स ऑफ BaCl2 व्हेन रिएक्ट्स विथ इट विल प्रोड्यूसेस Ba3PO4 ट्वाइस प्लस सिक्स NaCl। सो ये किल्ले नजरी थ्री मॉल BaCl2 था। Divided by 10 madri, again agatha 0.3 mole agatha. Ille 2 mole adha, idhan again divided by 10 madri 0.2 mole. So it will give us 1 mole BA3 and PO4 twice. 
again divided by 10 madidare 0.1 mole sigutte so hence the ba3po4 twice which is produced will be 0.1 mole and therefore the option d is the right answer next how many of 0.1 n hcl are required to react completely with 1 gram mixture of na2co3 and nahco3 containing equimolar amounts of 2 so il nodri 0.1 n hcl est volume bekagutta to react completely with 1 gram mixture of na2co3 and nahco3 ಎರಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನದಾವ ರೀ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಮೋಲ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗದ ಸೊ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರ ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಎನ್ ಎ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ತ್ರಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ is equal to 1 minus x divided by na hco3 dest agat 3 84 agat and hence x is equal to 0.557 illa value est agat 3 number of moles 0.557 and therefore 0.557 divided by 53 plus 0.443 divided by 84 will equal to v into 0.1 divided by 1000 so therefore volume required will be 157.7 ml so which option is right here option a next one how much time in hours would it take to distribute one avogadro number of wheat grains if 20 to 20 grains are distributed each second one second ig 10 to 20 gram sorry 10 to 20 grains distribute madidra eshtu time bekagutta avagadro number of grains na distribute madbekandra edrolaga in hours so nodri if 10 to 20 gram grains okay require or distributed in one second okay then 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 this is the avogadro number will require how much time that you need to find so simply cross multiply this what you will get 1 into 6.023 into 10 raised to 20 sorry 10 raised to 23 divided by 10 raised to 20 and it is in second but they want in hours so into 60 minutes into 60 seconds so you will get on simplification one sorry 1.673 hours you will get so therefore option b is the right answer next one 2.76 gram of silver carbonate on being heated strongly yield a residue weighing 2.76 gram silver carbonate heat madidaga test residue sigutta hang find out martivri so first when a silver carbonate two moles of silver carbonate the undergo decomposition it will produces four moles of ag plus 2 moles of carbon dioxide and oxygen so you know the molecular weight test 276 yes moles of the 2 moles of the so if we divide it we will get 2.76 of the 4 into 108 gram okay yes to get 3 math to do it will give us 216 and here if we take the simple ratio we will get 2.16 moles so therefore 2.76 gram will give us 2.16 residue so 
So which answer is right here? Option A is the correct answer.